Hey y'all, hey, today's video is a clean with me and I am going to be doing my stairs that are carpeted. I'm gonna be doing my toddler room as well as his bathroom, which is also the guest bathroom. I'm just giving you an overlook of everything that needs to be accomplished. Everything is a disaster right now, but it's gonna be okay. And I hope you get the cleaning motivation you need. That's why I wrote you a letter So first things first, I'm going to start removing everything that I can from the staircase, putting things away. I'm also going to be going through that staircase basket. I did find that on Amazon and if it's still available, I will gladly link it in the description box for you guys. But um, yeah, I'm just briefly... I'm sorry about that y'all i'm just briefly looking through the basket to see what it is that can stay downstairs and what it is that needs to go upstairs but yeah i'm just trying to declutter this staircase because it was becoming a trip hazard before i vacuum everything Without you. I am going to be using the turbo eraser attachment to my Bissell vacuum cleaner. I've never used it before. This is my first time using it, but my stairs have not been vacuumed in quite some time. And as you will see when I let you all see what was removed from my staircase, you'll know that I'm not lying to y'all. Um, that's why I wanted the tank to be empty and we're starting from scratch. Like there's nothing in this tank. So whatever you see, at the end of this clip here is real life. Okay, so a little bit about me. My name is Denise. I am a stay-at-home mom of two. I have a little boy named Lucas and I have a daughter that is three months old. And yeah, I just make cleaning content. I have some cooking content, mommy content. If you want to see it, it's probably here on my channel. As you can see, yeah, uh, the, and as you can see, I told you, it was trashed. But anyway, I took care of it and everything looks good. It feels good. When Sugarfoot came home, he said that he felt a difference on the staircase and I am very pleased with myself. It was a lot of work, but it looks great. Okay, so moving on to the bathroom here. I'm just gonna first remove the pull-ups. Yes, there was a mountain of pull-ups, but not a one had pee in it, I promise you. Those are all dry pull-ups, but he takes them off in the morning, puts on his big boy underwear, and now I'm just gonna go in the bathtub and look and see if there's anything else that I can put in the trash can before I dump everything and I'm just gonna clean the vanity clean the toilet I'm gonna clean the tub if there is a new product that I'm gonna be using I will show it to you guys but yeah just enjoy here I'm just letting you guys see that the sink was actually dirty um, so I'm giving you a up-close view of it those are a little bugs like that are attracted to light my little lamp attracts anything that comes in when we let our dog out for his last bathroom usage and yeah they just end up upstairs mounted on this light and on this sink but yeah i cleaned it up with a paper towel before i wiped everything away with my microfiber cloth
in this bathroom I am going to be replacing the flushable wipes for a guest or for Lucas if he ever needs one and I'm also going to be removing the rugs because I do plan to sweep and steam mop in here and I am also going to be using a all-purpose cleaner at the base of my toilet because I do have a little boy and sometimes he has little dribble accidents and the grout is now turning a little bit yellow so I do have to take a little extra care there so I'm going to just spray it and let it sit for a while and then I'm going to use my toothbrush to give it a good scrub in and move on to cleaning the bathtub. Let me know down in the comments if you too have to give a little extra care to your toilet because of your children or maybe you have a man that has sometime on occasion missed the toilet and let me know how you clean your toilet. Is there a different product that you enjoy and I'll gladly give it a try in my next video. I ran away from heartbreak Got nothing in return for my pain I never thought I'd be so empty, so alone and afraid Wasn't looking for a lover Nobody understood where I've been I thought I needed more time to protect my love from potential offense. So I taken all of the toys out and I put them in the bathroom sink so that I can start scrubbing this. Now I am still continuing with the Lysol multi-surface spray um, but if there's anything that you all are using please share it with me because I have searched high and low on a good bathroom cleaning spray and I haven't found one that I enjoy or have used already in the past and I didn't really like it so let me know what it is that you're using in the availability or where can I find it because that has been my problem everywhere that I'm looking they're just out of everything so yeah I look forward to seeing what you guys have to offer as a suggestion so after rinsing everything away i'm just gonna put everything back neatly and now i feel a whole lot better about this bathtub being cleaned uh, it smells better in here already so last thing that i'm gonna be doing in this bathroom is like I said, sweeping, I'm going to steam mop, replace the rugs, and we are going to be moving on to cleaning the toddler room. Boy, you had me from the start. By the way you stared, the way you wrote upon me, yeah, yeah. Man, I felt your energy. Wasn't used to being loved and treated differently, yeah. But something went wrong, the signals got crossed, and now we're on completely different pages. Let's go where we were, when no one gets hurt. Baby, keep it right there, don't you stress the flow. Trying to pick the pace up, we should take it slow. 
Lucas bedroom I'm at the window and there are unfortunately spiders in this window and I am not ready absolutely not the window does need to be taken care of though as you can see is very dirty and you can also see those spiders and I have been putting it off because my vacuum just wasn't strong enough to make me feel secure in sucking those bad boys up but i just want you guys to see what i was working with hey y'all i just wanted y'all to know and i needed to i needed you guys to see my face when i say i am scared af to clean this window i don't do bugs i don't like spiders i don't like cockroaches i don't like water bugs i am scared to death and um i have to do it because sugarfoot is at work so I'm going to use my vacuum. Please, no one laugh. Because it's not funny. I am scared. Are you scared too? She, she don't care. But anyway, um, let's get back into the cleaning. If you care about me at all, you should focus on your problems, not putting the blame on me. So I won't pick up I'm gonna be using the Mrs. Myers all purpose spray, and that is gonna be in the scent uh apple cider. I'm so sorry if you heard that loud noise, it was a motorcycle riding by. So I apologize for that. And I'm just gonna let this sit for a while and then I'm just gonna move on to making his bed and eventually I'm going to um, clean off his dresser and then we're gonna get into some laundry motivation and I have a technique for that but right here I'm just gonna be spraying his bed down with some Lysol because I not too long ago washed his sheets and he really hasn't been sleeping in this bed because he's been sleeping with me or downstairs with his daddy that's a whole nother story y'all but anyway I'm just freshening up his bed and I'm just gonna make it look nice and neat oh you should respect my boundaries don't come knocking on my door cause it's scary you must know after everything we've been through this can't go on So I'm just trying to get his books back in order, getting his rug back straight. It was really crooked or caught the wrong way, so I rolled it. And then I'm just going to add a wallflower, and that is the scent mahogany apple. That's the whole house currently right now. And then I'm going to deflate his bed bumpers. One of them has a hole in it.
Okay, so to clean this window seal or window pane, I'm not really sure. I'm just using a sponge and everything is coming up really nice and neatly. I am going to also follow it up with some warm water and it's just going to flow out of the window underneath the window screen. So it's fine. Um, as you can see, the deck is right there. So it all it is going to land on the deck, but it's fine. Um, and then I'm going to clean the window itself with my all-time favorite sprayway cleaner with the trigger if you can find the sprayway with the trigger go ahead and get you one or two because i love it it's my favorite but anyway then after this i think we're gonna move on to the laundry i'm not sure so just keep on watching Anyway, so I'm just folding up his pants right here and that is nothing special but as far as his um, shirts and his pajamas and things like that I do have a special technique that I wanted to show you guys um, I'm gonna be using this one right here as an example and first you just want to have the shirt laid out flat and then you want to fold it up in thirds or fold up the, the bottom to the third or halfway up if you want to and then flip it over and then fold the two sides over to the center but first make sure you put the pants down um, inside the middle anyway you can see what I'm doing here on the screen and you just fold the sides over and then you take the top and you fold it down halfway and then you take the bottom and fold that up and then you just take your hand and if you can find that little cuff you just flip it over and you have the pants within the shirt you're never on the hunt for your child's pajamas that match and that's how I like to do his pajamas I'm also going to show you just simple and plain how I fold the shirts on sheep shirts it doesn't matter it all works the same way but I wanted to show it to you again hold up just a minute been looking for some help just to find myself yeah been losing my focus like a thousand times before can't take this anymore and I also have my little helper here and you should enjoy the fact that he I don't ask him to help me he just starts taking stuff off the bed and it's so cute because he knows exactly where everything goes this is his room and he likes to keep it clean when I'm cleaning it but as soon as it's a disaster he likes to keep it that way too Let me know down in the comments if you have a child that loves to help you put away laundry as well and do you enjoy it because I know some people don't enjoy their kids being in their way when they're trying to get stuff done. Um, on this particular day, Logan was taking a nap so I really didn't care that he was involved in all the activities. Usually it's a really fun time for both of us. so. Yeah, I never really have a problem with him helping me, and he knows where everything goes, so that doesn't hurt at all. Lately I've been fading out, holding out, waiting just for somebody to love and to surround me, and to handle my emotions. I was out waiting for something. That too. But moving on to how I like to store everything in his drawers. The top drawer, I have his socks, 
to the left as his underwear right beside his socks and then I have his swimsuits in the far back I have his mittens his winter hats things like that and then I have his pull-ups to the far right and that is everything that is in the top drawer now moving on to the second drawer, I have his long sleeve shirts to the left, which he is very light in that area. We need to do some shopping for him. And to the right, I have his short sleeve shirts. And I have them upwards so that I can see what all of the shirts look like with the cuff facing up. So that's why I like to fold his shirts that way. And then this bottom drawer, I have his long pants. I have some shorts in the center and to the far right I have all of his jammy jammies or pajamas that is the correct terminology but we call them jammy jammies in this house and yeah that is how I have his dresser organized and that will bring me to the end of this video I hope that you enjoyed it if you did please give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more of this great content you are watching and leave me a comment and share this video if you think it will be good for any other people out there that would enjoy um, cleaning content um, if you made it to the end leave me a pumpkin just so I know who is out there giving me all that support <laughs> we'll see you in my next one bye